this is a continuation of our spring boot uh, spring security authentication server yeah authentication application so basically basically in my previous two videos i just explained how we will start a spring boot spring, spring security authentication application and we actually uh, added the dependencies and added some classes some node classes <coughs> the necessary packages config controller da model repository service so and also we dip, we have a constants class and uh, we define some static final variables such token validity key seconds signing keys token testing so today we are going to the second section where uh, we will define a JWT authentication filter. I have already explained what is JWT authentication filter will do. It will filter our HTTP output. So I am just going to create that JWT authentication filter right now. Then we can see how um, we will modify the uh, necessary methods in that class. So, JWT authentication filter, that's a name I am going to give and uh, I need to extend, I need to extend a particular class here. So, particular class means, uh, there is a abstract class that we need to extend. So, it extends once per request filter, once per request filter means, uh, uh, each request it will go to this filter so uh, when I add this one it's complaining about some uh, method to be implemented so I just add that also it's actually a request response and filter chain to filter in them so basically we will have the request here yeah, request object and response object and we will do some uh, business logic inside this one so we can see what, what are the business logic we can be going to do in the particular method so before that i am going to i'm going to try to access this one once per request filter is any documentation for this there is no documentation so it's generic filter b it's actually extended from generic filter b General filter beam is also uh, filtering the HTTP uh, request and response. And once per request, once per request filter, I don't know the peculiarity of once per request filter. Probably we can check that also uh, since it's better to um, have some understanding about once per request filter so there is no particular documentation so we have the question filter and some security mm. okay so there is no specific uh, documentation so base uh, so i guess right now it's fine we, we can just implement the logic here because there is no specific documentation maybe you guys can search on uh, it seems it is not that much important just to understand every HTTP request is going to need to pass through this so what I am going to do is insert this one and we provide some business logs so uh, whenever we are talking about a uh, spring security things, we actually have something like user detail service. That's actually uh, uh, all the information regarding user. User will be in this user detail service. Okay, so what we are going to do is user detail service. And then we will use uh, yeah we will just 
instantiate that bean as well. Yeah, I have, I have some typo here. Okay, anyway, that's fine. Then what we are going to do is we are going to add something here. Other uh, than set of entity. Okay, so that's another one. Private mm -hmm. To be a token okay. job token with your interviewee token. Here also, I need to add some dependencies here. So it's actually jellybeauty token with your. Ability token view, but yeah, in my case, not taking anything actually. So I need to make sure there is some pass or reward for that. Okay, so this is an uh, internal dependency, we need to depend on this one. So basically, I'm gonna we have a jet of community here. You know. Job token which so I need to create this class here. So click on this create create class jellybeauty token. Okay, so I need that. So right now we are in this one inside the method jellybeauty authentication filter. What I'm going to do is I'm trying to copy paste from of this thing because it's taking too much time to uh, type this thing and we will go to the details thereafter so here so i'm just changing to request and this one i already uh, i need to have a function here request address in token fix okay but also we already have one constant here interesting one problem one problem okay all right no results in the interesting okay i have this one here mm. Oh no, we have some issues here. Public static kind of thing, public class function. Yeah, it's a problem with the uh, right thing. Not taking and paste. Oh no. Ah, here we go. I otherwise we need a static board. That's all for that. Will be good option, I guess. Just good static function. I need to give my. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's function. So that's fine right now. So right now we have some other things we need to define in jellybeauty token with it. So we will go with that in the next video. So thank you for watching. Uh, I will discuss everything in the next video. So it's, uh, yeah, it's actually taking too much time. So I will try to explain in the next video everything. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.